Hey guys, T Bolov here, and today I wanted to give you guys a quick look at the upcoming, and I don't know when, Tier 9 Premium Japanese Battleship, the Musashi. So, as I said, I don't know when this is coming out. Um, months passed, it was a pretty, pretty regular setup between uh, Wargaming and the press account holders. Uh, we got new boats on Monday, which gave us a couple of days to get some video footage, test them out, kind of get a feel for them, uh, get a video put out before they were released on Thursday. I have no idea when this is coming out. Um, I'm creating this video on Monday, the tw I'm sorry, Wednesday, the 22nd of January. Um, and I just got the vote, vote this morning, so uh, it's possible it may show up tomorrow. And Wargaming's just given us uh, one day now to get stuff out ahead of time, uh, or it could be sometime later in the weekend. I have no idea. I also have no idea how it's going to be released. Uh, based on <laughs> the last few Tier 9 premiums, I would guess a gambling crate, uh, but that is strictly a guess based on uh, history, not based on any information that we have been given or received uh, directly from Wargaming. Um, so, on to the boat itself. Uh, as most people are aware, this was the only other Yamato-class battleship ever built. Uh, it's very similar. It's also got some differences between uh, the Tier 10 Tech Tree Japanese battleship Yamato. Um, same guns. Uh, the differences are mostly going to be the uh, the accuracy seemed to be a little bit more wonky. With the uh, Musashi, there was a few times where I'd fire a salvo and not hit anything or only get like one hit. And it was like, come on, really? Um, <clears throat> there's a different secondary layout. We'll get into that in just a minute. Um, and no precise aim. So, in fact, there's no skill, extra skills uh, on this boat at all, um, which is kind of a pro, kind of a con. Um, we'll talk about captain skills in a little bit, and we'll we'll get into some of that. So, um, let's start with. Um, <clears throat> as you guys might notice as well, this is fully decked out. Um, I decided to go ahead and set the Yamato and the Musashi up identically, um, and take a look at their stats there, kind of a as fought configuration. Um, Rather than just doing base stats, since I'm only going to be comparing it to the Yamato, um, I don't think it's really fair to compare Musashi to the Tier 9 Tech Tree Zumo. Uh, they're totally different animals, and there's not really anything else in Tier 9 to compare it to. So we are going to make a, a cross-tier comparison here between the Musashi and the Yamato. So bear that in mind. One is Tier 10, one is Tier 9, and uh, so there is going to be that. So... Uh, Hit points, 59,519 with historical camo, uh, 62,920 with historical on the Yamato, so definitely fewer hit points, not totally unexpected considering Tier 9 versus Tier 10. Um, Citadel, Fire Flood, looks the same, damage reduction, <clears throat> so you can see Yamato does have a little bit better damage, uh, torpedo damage reduction, not a huge difference, but there is one there. Uh, speed's the same. Uh, acceleration is quite a bit slower, a couple seconds on uh, Musashi 24.71, that is with the acceleration equipment in slot 2, which I typically like to run on most of my boats, 22.7 in Yamato, so you can see Yamato definitely has better acceleration. Um, it's also got a little bit better steering, it's 4.6 degrees per second on the rudder versus 4.4. As I mentioned, the guns are the same, although there is a slower reload on Musashi. Um, with historical camo, it's down to 23.77. It's uh, 24.5 stock, if I remember right. Uh, versus Yamato, you can see it does have a faster reload. Um, it's also got shorter range. <clears throat> less HE damage. Less AP damage. Same turret traverse, though. So the guns are just as slow on Musashi as they are on Yamato. So basically, even though it's the same guns, they're not hitting as hard. They don't have the same range. Um, I think because Tier 9 is going to play Tier 8 sometimes, and taking a Yamato into a Tier 8 game is kind of a slaughter. So that would be my guess as to why the same class of ship with the same guns have got slightly different values. Secondaries. Um, most people know the Yamato's got two secondary turrets, one up front there. Whoop, right there. Another one in the back. 
<clears throat> Musashi also gets a third and a fourth, one amidships on either side, which does mean that your secondary broadside is now three guns of three barrels for a total of nine shots. Uh, it's the same 155 millimeter, the Mogami turrets. Don't know why they don't have Mogami range, and Mogami damage, but they are Mogami guns. Uh, so same reload, a little bit shorter range on the Musashi. <clears throat> A little bit, a little bit lighter damage. Same turret traverse though. Same chance of setting fire. Uh, so basically, it's the Yamato secondaries with one extra gun, each an extra three barrels. Um, but those two extra secondary guns on either side do come at the cost of half of your auto secondary. So the Yamato had twelve times two, so six per side. Yamosashi has six times two, so three per side on the auto secondaries. Uh, you can see a little bit shorter range, a little bit less damage, pretty close though either way. And while the Yamato is not known for its AA capabilities, uh, they are awesome compared to Musashi's. Musashi 170 on the large caliber AA damage, 348, so quite a bit less. Small caliber 113 to 340 on the uh, Yamato's, so... Uh, Definitely try to find a buddy with good AA if you want to run Musashi. Uh, same surface detection, 12.6 kilometers. Uh, elite bonuses, uh, torpedo defense system, or elite gun operator, especially with that longer reload time, elite gun operator was kind of the hands-down choice for me. Um, torpedo damage reduction wouldn't hurt, but uh, I like my guns. Uh, it does come battle honors. Uh, they're pretty easy. Play 10 battles, first one. Kill two battleships in one battle on the second one. Uh, I got really lucky and finished that second one in one of my matches earlier. Put two battleships down and got luck got lucky, got that done. Not that I need the uh, resources on this, uh, this account, but hey, I'll take them. Um, equipment. Uh, I did run one game with turret traverse and decided the dispersion was definitely the better option. Um, secondary firing range boost might be worth it, but I think dispersion is still the way to go. Uh, slot 2 deck protection is arguably a better choice than acceleration. Uh, just kind of depends on your play style. I did notice catching fire quite often in this boat, and so like most Japanese battleships, it's a tinderbox. Um, might be worth doing the uh, deck protection instead, risk, reduce your risk of fire. Uh, torpedo damage reduction is always a viable option for Japanese high tier battleships. Um, I did go steering just because the steering is so bad in this thing. Um, that's the way I ran it. That's kind of what seemed to work for my play style. Definitely uh, options that would work. Um, other options that would work, I guess I should, I should say. As far as captain skills, uh, you definitely can just swap a Yamato captain over and probably be fine. I know for my personal account, my Yamato captain, um, I run... Uh, not only marksman, but fire supremacy to get the extra precise aim uh, and the extra duration on the precise aim. Um, with no precise aim on Musashi, those skills kind of become wasted. So, uh, you know, the the advantage to not having those skills is it means that you can you can take like survivalist where you get an extra fifteen percent hit points. Um, you know, or fully prepared to get your cooldown kit repair kit cooldown time down by 10%. Um, the downside is that if you're just going to swap your Musa your Yamato captain over and you've already got them set up, the there's two skills that you may have that benefit the Yamato that have no benefit on Musashi. They're now wasted and there's two other skills that are you know pretty handy to have. So just kind of depends on how you have your Yamato captain set up. If you didn't take either of those skills, then it's not really a waste. If you did, like I did, then you kind of need a different captain to really get the most out of it. So uh, beyond that, nothing too out of the ordinary. Uh, Citadel Strike, big guns, want to take advantage of that. APCS. Uh, I did take Close Quarters Combat Expert um, just to try to help my the accuracy on the secondaries. 
I feel like it's worth it. Demolition Expert's always an option, though. Uh, other than that, pretty standard captain build. Nothing too fancy. So um, I do have a game I was going to show you guys. We'll get to here in, a, in just a second. Um, it was a pretty good game. I felt like it went pretty well. And, yeah, kind of show you guys some of the accuracy over range, kind of uh, some of the up-close stuff so you can get a feel for how it runs. And, yeah, so anxious to see how this uh, ends up getting released when it does. And, uh, yeah, leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think, what else you want to see. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it, you guys uh, coming to watch the video. And I'll see you guys out there. Situation is under control. We're under attack. Locked on. Torpedo spotted. We're hit. Our 
team is about to win.